Hey, guys, I didn't know you were coming to the church raffle. I will confess a mix-up to you. I thought Donna said we were going to the church waffle. And we're only here for the fantasy weekend at Fenway Park. Fenway Park? Oh, yeah, the winner and her friend get to hang out and practice with retired Red Sox players and then play in a real game right on the field at Fenway. Oh, my God, that's always been a dream of mine. Well, that and toning a guitar in front of a live audience. This was in perfect tune when they handed it to me. Next up, our fantasy weekend for two at Fenway Park. Oh, man, this is it. And the winner is Peter Griffin. Holy crap, I won. Wow, good for you. Congratulations. I like it when people say your name out loud. How exciting, Peter. A weekend trip to Boston. Yeah, and the best part is I don't even have to get on a plane. I always have trouble at the airport. Sir, you're not allowed to be on the carousel. Well, and maybe you shouldn't have named it such a fun word. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, I'm not yours. He's stealing me. I'm being stolen. Excuse me, I think you've got mine. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter. So I was just baking a coffee cake, and I figured I'd bring it over, because you like coffee cake. Wow, thanks. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So who are you taking to Fenway? What? Well, I was just thinking, you have that extra ticket, maybe you'd want to... Peter, before you answer him, I've got that murdered jogger's disc man you wanted last week. Still bloody. Hi, Peter. You know how you like $40 cash? Well, here's almost $40 cash. Guys, look, I know you all want to go, but I, I need a little more time to figure this out. I mean, it, it's a tough decision. Like what to do with that big watermelon I bought. Griffin, I just wanted to tell you... That's a great outfit. Keep it up. I knew it. I have to start trusting myself more. And I don't envy you. Whichever one of them you bring to Fenway, the other two will be mad at you. I don't want to bring any of them. Those guys are all way better than me at baseball. They just show me up and ruin it for me. Why don't you bring Lois? She doesn't care about baseball, and that way nobody gets their feelings hurt. Brian, that's a great idea. Thanks. Is it new tennis ball great? It's three new tennis balls great. I'm gonna get them all, I'm gonna get them all, I'm gonna get them all. <laughs> Mom, you're really going to Boston? I didn't even think you liked baseball. Oh, I'm not going for baseball. I I'm going for shopping, the hotel spa, and two days of being away from you life-sucking turds. Anyway, be good. And while we're gone, Brian's in charge. Where is Brian? What's up, bitches? Oh, come on, Mom, really? I'm in high school, and you're still putting the dog in charge? Believe me, Meg, you want me in charge. Stewie can be a bit of a handful. He's right, you know. I'm a total Taurus, stubborn as they come. All right, fine. Meg, while we're away, you can be in charge. Come on, Lois, time to get to Fenway. Wow, Dad, you look awesome. But I thought you were going to dress like a baseball player. I am, Chris. I'm the type of player who arrives at the stadium in a suit with a tie knot as big as an apple. That's how you know I got money. All right, we'll see you guys Sunday. Okay, now you heard Mom say I'm in charge, so I just want to lay a few ground rules. Yep. I promise we're going to have fun, but there will be a uh -huh. schedule just to keep everything running sure, smoothly. And I may assign That's a great, chore, too, because it's actually more Sounds fun like when you got everyone it all worked pitches out. in. Hey, by the way, ah! I'm going to flush your retainer down the toilet. Giggity, giggity. Giggity, goo. Stick around.